This is a really easy early game Minecraft 117 Survival Gold Farm. I'm going to show you how to make it block by block. Don't you go anywhere. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, in my Minecraft 117 Farm Tutorial Series. Today I'm responding to the request of people wanting an early game farm for a gold farm. Well, early kind of, in that you've got to come through to the nether, but you don't have to build some amazing big contraption up on the nether roof. So that is exactly what we're going to build today. And actually, this one is a total doddle. You are going to need to find yourself a nether waste biome that is relatively open and hasn't got too much in the way. So you've got a wide field of vision. And then all you do, pretty much, is build a box. But to be fair, it is a very clever box. Make yourself a seven by seven square. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven in this direction, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And fill it in with some kind of blast proof block. Don't care what it is, entirely up to you. You could use cobblestone, you could use stone, you could use stone bricks. I'm using deep slate just because we're in Minecraft 117 and that's quite exciting. And once you've got your seven by seven square, build it up three high. So it looks like that and you've got a little two by one door in the middle of one of the sides. And it's probably best to have that door facing outwards towards the area that you are gonna be collecting your pigment from. So in this instance, mine faces out into that nether waste biome where I conceal the pigment. Come to the back corner of your box and dig down one, two, three, and four blocks. So you should have the floor and then one, two, and three. And then you want to dig out all of this area that's underneath your floor. So you should have a three high box that is one, two, three, four, five by five. I've just lined up these walls with cobble. You absolutely don't have to do that. But the wall that is where the door is, don't do anything with that yet because we're gonna be putting some stuff in. And now you just have to give yourself a way out. So place ladders up in the corner where you just came in so as you can get back out again really, really easily. And then dig out this block and this block and again and again and again, you'll see your level with the floor that you were just in. Now we're gonna put some stuff inside here now. Come to in front of your channel right here and place a double chest. Dig out these blocks and then place a hopper facing into that chest. You can see that the little nib is facing into the chest and then come behind that and place another hopper into that first hopper. You can see that nib is facing in as well. At this point, you might want to place these blocks in here now because you are not going to be needing them just to make it look consistent. Place a slab on top of each hopper. It doesn't matter what slab you use, any slab will work. And then get some stairs and place stairs upside down across the entirety of that wall. The most important one is the middle one, but it just makes sense to go across the wall. You should have a half block sized hole right there and that's all you need. At this point, it's a good idea to place down some carpet inside of here because that will make sure that nothing spawns inside here at all. That's perfect. You can lose that bottom ladder and place that there if that's causing you problems with your head. Grab your two trap doors, place a trap door there, put a temporary block just in there, go outside, remove the temporary block and place a trap door back in there. And then what you can do is just to make sure nothing spawns inside here, place carpet all along this floor as well. Next up, pick one of your corners, doesn't matter which, you could carry on that ladder if you wish to. I'm gonna choose that corner and I'm gonna come up to the top and then I'm gonna get some slabs and I'm gonna place slabs across the entire roof except for the four corners. So it should look something like that. You should have a hole there so as your ladder allows you to get in and out of your farm as well, otherwise that would be really bad. And then in the four corners, place a tower one, two, and then a third in each of these corners. And when you get to the fourth corner, don't jump off, because if you jump off, you won't be able to get back on again. And place a slab across all of this roof now, so you've got an entire roof supported by these pillars here. It's a good idea to overlap your roof ever so slightly. The whole point of that roof there is to stop line of sight from ghasts. It mostly works. Still be aware when you hear the ghast noise, but in reality, very few ghasts are going to be able to get you when you are up there. What you may wish to do is place some furnaces inside this downstairs area because some of the drops you're going to get could be smelted. Specifically, I'm talking about where they drop their swords because those can be smelted into golden nuggets which will add to your stash. You may also want to add extra chests for a little bit of storage should you wish to. Just pop out the carpet and pop the chest down in there. 
What is also a really good idea is knocking out this entire wall, and it is not obligatory, you don't have to do this, but it's a good idea. Take out this area, I'm only doing it three wide so as it's symmetrical, and make yourself a nether portal out of this area, and that will allow you to come in and out of the farm without having to walk through the nether wastes. Sometimes these zombified piglin remember your face, and you don't want them to do that whilst they're holding a sword. Now, I appreciate in early game you are not gonna necessarily have this, but the best sword to have is a sword with Sweeping Edge 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Looting 3, and Sharpness 5. That will give you the most efficient sword to be able to get the gold. However, you can build up to this. Looting is the one that you want the absolute most because that will give you the biggest number of drops. And ideally, you are also gonna want a bow. Otherwise, you are gonna to have to venture out into that never waste and smack one of these pigmen yourselves close up. And that isn't quite as much fun and involves far more running. So I'm in survival now. I've got zero levels. I'm gonna come through into my farm through my nether portal that I have just made and it will bring me out into the base underneath. There we are, that's perfect. And we are inside our base. This large chest is empty. All I have in my possession is a sword and a bow. Let's get ourselves up here. We're gonna open both of those trap doors and then we're gonna come up to the top here. We're gonna be very mindful of ghasts, but not too fearful. And we are gonna target one of these zombie piglins. And hopefully we've got the skills to hit one. They get really upset and they all start to run for you. You can see here, even the babies run for you. If you then come inside, you'll see that they fall into that hole exactly like that. They cannot get out. You come down here with your sword, you can just see their feet. And all you do here is you sit here and you bash away at them. And you get XP, you get gold nuggets, you get other bits and pieces, you get rotten flesh. You can see we've already got gold nuggets, rotten flesh, and also a gold ingot, which is quite lucky, coming in. They keep on coming. Keep hitting them with your sword and eventually you'll run out of an angry piglin. You can see even the babies can't get to you because it's only half a hole wide. Just keep hitting them. And obviously with you hitting them will mean that they are calling more of the zombified piglin that are coming in that have spawned since you came down here. So in our chest, We've got in just that first few seconds, 18 gold nuggets, a gold ingot, some rotten flesh. Also picked up these bits as well because I was close by. Now this golden sword can then be smelted inside your furnaces and that will give you more gold. So as you can see, this is super simple. You barely need any blocks whatsoever. Those few hits gave me eight levels of experience from absolutely zero and I've started to collect a decent amount of gold. If you sit and do this just for a little while, you could collect quite a lot of gold, which will enable you to go on to do more things later on in your game. And there is not a sign of having to go up onto the nether roof, making massive magma block farms. You can get gold like this really, really easily, relatively early on in game. If there are any other farms you would like me to do in Minecraft 117 or even in Minecraft 116 if you'd like, let me know in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Also, let me know whether or not you've made this slightly differently. It'd be really interesting. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoy them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you're not done already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.